producing our Cybex staff. Our freshman teachers are Josh Bammer and Lissy Barrow. Our sophomore teachers are Chris Stefano and myself, Lori Clarson. I, I just did that reflexive. Anyway, uh, junior teachers are Brian Boone and Jason Broncar. And our senior teachers are Bob Strachan and Matt Whitmore. I challenge you to find them all on the grid here. Um, CYBEX is an acronym. It stands for Center for International Business and Communication Studies. And we're famous for fostering our students um, who will be prepared for university and also equipped with communication, technology, thinking, social and soft skills that are necessary for success in the 21st century business world. Um, over the course of four years, students can also earn two nationally recognized CTE certi certificates. CTE is career and technical education. And those two pathways are in marketing and entrepreneurship. Um, the process to get your student into, um, into Cybex is that eighth grade students who are interested will sign up for an interview with guidance counselors when they register for classes. And then they'll submit an online application found in cybax.org website. Um, there are three sections designated for the freshman classes. And what we look for in um, the interviews are level of interest, motivation for joining, and the skills they either already have and want to um, capitalize on or that they're looking to improve. Uh, please let me introduce you to our first speakers of the night, sophomores, um, Sarah Hanches and Amy DiStefano. They'll talk to you about their freshman project. So going into freshman year, I was so excited to be able to be in a class where I'd be learning life lessons without even realizing it. Miss Barrow and Mr. Bammer definitely taught me things that I will keep with myself for the rest of my life. I learned things such as what a target market is, what the four keys of business are, and I even got over my fears of public speaking. This last year was definitely one for the books. I mean, considering that halfway through the year, we got we got quarantined for a global pandemic. And now on to Sarah for the projects of the year. So now you're probably wondering, what will my child be learning about? So Cybax is a program that teaches students the ins and outs of business, as well as time management and marketing. There are three main projects of freshman year. So the first is the literary agent project. And so over the course of, uh, of about several months, your student will pick an autobiography and act as if they are publishing the book for the first time. So this project is an amazing intro to all the different aspects of the business world. And secondly, there's Gateway, and Gateway is the main project of the year. So during this project, your student will be assigned a local business and have to move it to an international location. My team had the pleasure of working with Lampost Pizza and moving it to Poland. And although this project was postponed a week before because of quarantine, um, the Cybax teachers really made sure that we had the opportunity to share all of our hard work and we were able to record ourselves presenting our project. So this project allowed me to expand my knowledge on marketing as well as the many different aspects it takes to run a business. Ms. Barrow's husband actually is one of the owners of the business, so I was able to work with Ms. Barrow and Mr. Barrow on many of the different aspects of this project. So we had to consider how to get the food to Poland, had to find a location that was perfect for them and so much more. Um, now back to Amy on a little more about the end of the year and more of those projects. About a couple months later after Gateway was finished, we were then introduced to World's Fair. World's Fair is a six person project where we get to choose a country and we get to do research and act as a travel agency. My group chose Greece and I did the culture aspects of it. So I got to research the clothes they wore, the dances they did, the music they listened to and the food they ate. In this project, I was definitely nervous just because it was the first online, full online project that we had been doing. But throughout the whole project, I realized that I was perfectly fine and it was just the rush of being in quarantine and the fact that there was a global pandemic going on. 
In this, I definitely learned many life lessons. Like I learned how to communicate better through text messaging and Gmail and even talking on Zoom like we are this whole year. I also learned how to better work with a group just because there were six people and there was a lot of stuff going on. So we had to talk everything out and make sure that everybody knew what they drew, they were doing at the right time. Although last year was definitely something interesting, I wouldn't change it for the world just because of the, pe the friends that I made, the things that I learned and all stuff like that. Now on to Nick for the junior and sophomore projects. As we crave the excitement of new experiences, new projects and new atmospheres, we as a Cybacian family turn into sophomores. We are in for a year we would never expect. I knew deep down we weren't only going to grow as professional speakers, but as a family with different attitudes, different personalities, and different flavors. We transferred from scared little freshmen with Bammer swinging golf clubs at our desk, making us jump like fish out of water, to developing our own flavors during the sophomore year. Going from freshman year to sophomore year, we had a gateway project, which was two months in the freshman year. And now we have, now in the, so, in the sophomore year, we had an on-ramp project, which is a full-fledged year-long group project, which is pretty intimidating if you really think about it, because none of us have done this before. As we started 10th grade, DeStefano and Clarson made us the most comfortable as possible. Bammer may challenge you, but DeStefano and Clarson refine you. Mrs. Clarson and Mr. DeStefano are the two sophomore year teachers who teach English and world history respectively. Both teachers are amazing and definitely make the program feel like a family. Mrs. Clarson is one of the best teachers I've ever had. She's hilarious, extremely kind, and very passionate about what she teaches, which is why she got teacher of the year from the district just earlier this week. In her class, we learn about the elements of literature and poetry, but most importantly, we start studying rhetoric. Rhetoric is the art of persuasive writing, and this can be not only applied to our essays in English class, but also our speeches in Cybex. By using the concepts that we learned in English class, it allows us to create presentations that will effectively persuade our audience. The cross curriculum that is offered in Cybex is really beneficial to the students because it allows us to apply what we've learned into something even greater. DeStefano's class had an interesting atmosphere and helped you learn world history through engaging videos, clever projects, and team building activities that help you grow as a Cybacian family. He is an inspiration and one of the best teachers on the Edison campus. Even on your worst days, he would help you break down your problems into smaller portions and tell you that nothing is permanent. I take this into my daily life every day and, and when troubles present me to me in my everyday life, I use this. One project that stuck out to me was Shark Tank. This was a hard sell that we took an invention from the Industrial Revolution and used our marketing and advertisement skills along with presentation skills throughout the project. This taught us real life applications. So the bulk of the year's real life applications and experience comes from the sophomore project called OnRamp in which students have to get in a team, form their own research and development company, and simulate uh, making a product for their business partner. And like in Gateway, we have real local businesses that participate in this project. And just some of them are Dita, Simple Green, Hurley, and Quicksilver. So these teams that have the same business partner have to compete against one another to create and pitch the best product. So when we first started this um, project, the first thing we had to do was gather all the necessary research and information. Now you have to conduct extensive research through surveys, interviews, and of course, lots of search in the web in order to make your own product. Designing your product is where you get to be creative because you have to find ways to make your product effective, low cost, and popular. In my experience, we got to speak to the head of marketing, Kyle Mathis at Quicksilver, and he gave us lots of inf useful information on what types of products Quicksilver likes to produce. The product pitch is a great way to simulate how to present pro a product to judges and allows you to get some feedback from the company on what you have designed. Getting the opportunity to present a self-designed product is a great way to practice how to be persuasive and confident in your speech. The two major documents to the on-ramp project are the abstract and the impact analysis. The abstract introduces product and the research and the impact analysis helps you visualize how a product can affect a company. 
Next, we would develop a company website and a team website during the whole sophomore year. This helped us with our design skills, our displaying our research and being creative. Personally, this was the best part of this entire project, this creative side that Nick's talking about, because I'm a really artsy person, so I really enjoyed learning how to apply creativity to business. And so we learned that through developing the website, learning about user interface design, as well as making ads for our products, where we got a bit of marketing and graphic design in there. Uh, so that's what I really love about this program, is that all these projects and experiences have helped me learn more about myself, most notably, you know, things I'm good at, things I like to do, which has helped me sort of get a feel for what I want to do in the future. But back to the project, come springtime, teams need to prepare for the final presentation. Now that the teams are finally ready for their final presentation, this is where you get to share your company why your product is the best. All of the work you've done over the year has led up to this very moment where you have to persuade your audience to sell your product. This simulation really does teach students the process of what it takes to try to get a product into stores. Even though COVID struck during our presentations, we still got the opportunity to present our product over Zoom. On Friday, March 13, 2020, we got an email from the district saying that we had to be sent home for two weeks. And that two weeks turned into three months of transitioning to online learning at the end of sophomore year. We had to develop uh, speeches and presentations on Google Meets and Zoom. Unfortunately, COVID does affect our junior year project too called Fast Track, aka the junior internship. However, we've still managed to get creative and get it all done. Um, so since I really loved the design and marketing aspect of OnRamp, I actually got a paid marketing internship this year um, where I've been making ads and promo as well as managing the social media for a business. For my fast track mentorship, I got the opportunity to work with a commander at the LA County Sheriff's Department, where I learned about law enforcement and how to be a great leader. A key value that I learned during my experience has to be teamwork. And in order to get the job done and help other people, you need to be able to effectively communicate with your team and know how to work together to be successful. So my job shadowing experience with, was with a wholesale distributor. These two individuals, John and Lisa Haney, have known my dad for 40 plus years. It goes way back until the, when they were in college. They own two retail stores down by Seal Beach, and they are the king and queen of seashells in Huntington Beach. I was fortunate enough to have my 10 hours in person, and I took an LA trip to see what it's like to be a wholesale distributor. Now, here is Bella Espinoza for the senior speakers. Now moving into the end of your child's <laughs> year, you will move on to presenting your fast track project in front of a panel of judges. This is where you explain your internship to a panel of judges and get to present what you learned and what you found out about that job. Along with the end of the year, you will present your Cybex website. This is a website including information from your freshman year gateway project, your sophomore year on-ramp project, and your junior year fast track project. This is a way of combining all your tools into one website, which is a pretty unique skill that we got to do. Now moving into the senior year, this is where you start your business. Senior year, for your senior project, you create a business of your choice. And for me personally, I, got, I am creating a business where I sell masks. Considering we're in a global pandemic, I thought this would be a fun way for me to express my creative side and I get to do a bunch of research, marketing and advertising for my business. It's a pretty unique thing to do considering that not a normal person would do this, which brings out the uniqueness of the Cybex program. This is something probably most people will not get to experience and I think it's a great opportunity to learn more of the business side of the world. Now moving into the future, I am planning on using all my Cybex skills from the past three years into my college education. I didn't really know what I wanted to do coming into high school and I thought Cybex was a great program for me to figure that out. And now that I'm a senior in high school, I've had to apply to colleges, including California schools and University of Notre Dame. And I'm finding myself wanting to major in business because of this program. It's taught me so many things that probably a normal person would not do, which makes me feel good about going into college because it gives me some sort of an advantage. Things like a normal person would think is kind of crazy, but for us, it's kind of normal, like speaking in front of people, 
is so much easier and you create a sense of confidence in yourself, which I do not think I would have had without this program. And just going into college in general, I feel very prepared and very ready to move on to the next step of my life. Now here's Lucas to continue. One word I can use to describe Cybex is opportunistic. The program opens so many doors to so many careers that it's mind boggling. Hi, my name is Luke Westrup, and I'm a senior in the Cybex program. As a freshman, I saw Cybex kind of with blinders on. I thought I would need it and use it to learn about business and that it would only be used for me to create my own business or join an existing business. Now that I'm close to the end of my time in Cybex, I can see the versatility of all the skills that I was taught in all kinds of careers and opportunities. And for me, it's music. I'm a musician myself, and all these skills that I've learned in Cybex are things that I will use on a day-to-day basis as a musician. For example, last year, I was a junior, and I had an internship. I interned at Apex Audio. They're a pro audio solution company, and they're the people that Disneyland calls when you, they need new speakers and microphones. So some of the things I learned about there were these. This is a cardioid condenser microphone. It's something that I use when I'm recording music myself. It's great for vocals and for acoustic instruments. And now that I've, since I took my internship, I now learned those skills. There's things that I'm going to use every single day as a musician. I learned about interviewing. I'm comfortable speaking to random strangers. I can give quick, smart answers to tough questions, and I'm going to be using that next Tuesday. I have a college interview at Berkeley College of Music, one of the colleges that is very esteemed in the music industry and something that a college that I would love to go to. I learned about marketing in my freshman and sophomore years. I learned how to create an online profile, and that's something that is huge in the music industry. I, I've learned that I need to create a a website or a YouTube channel showing all of my skills, my entire repertoire, so that I can uh, advertise myself to producers and other people in the industry. But the thing that I think is most important is teamwork. You really need to know teamwork and be a good friend to people in the music industry. You need to be friends to your band. You need to be friends with record producers and marketing uh, record labels. And that's the essence of everything in Cybex. It's every single person in this program is friend. Everyone is friends with another Cybex student. We get to share our experiences and we could just walk up to each other. Hey, do you remember when we were in Bammer and this happened? Hey, do you remember when we were in, uh, when we were in Clarkson and this happened? It's everybody in this program is a family. So, if your student would like to join our family, we'd be so welcome to them joining. If you guys have any questions about Cybex, we're open to taking, taking those now. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, that just feels like a classroom right there. Just nothing but crickets. <laughs> Watch out for the breakout rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those always work well. Well, if there are any questions, I just want to say this. <clears throat> um, having, Lori, how long have we been teaching this program together? Over a decade now, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, I wouldn't change the opportunity to be a part of this program for anything. Um, I, I love the kids that come in. You can see these kids, how much they've grown in a couple of years. Um, some of them, we've had kids in the past that... Um, they're, they're almost shaking that first presentation they give. And then they finish this thing four years later and they're crushing interviews. And well, Baro, you can talk about your daughter. She never never had a bad interview or what was never not pass an interview. Yeah, every interview she ever took, she won the job. And we give and that- And she attributes that back to Cybex, right? Yes, junior year, she was interviewing and interviewing and interviewing practice one car they were working on the interview and she in her whole life she's had probably 15 interviews 
Now she was going to the film teacher and she won every job. So she got to pick which job she was going to take. Yeah, and, and, and what I really like is that it's, it's these skills. And we, I say this in class, we talk about this in class all the time that, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the things that they get in school is they not, maybe not as transferable afterwards, but these skills that they're developing, they take them with the rest of their life. And they're the things that are going to open doors for them and give them opportunity. And it's just an exciting thing to be a part of and watch them grow as they're in the program. So I hope you choose to uh, have your child join us on, on that journey because it's a fun one. We have a question in the chat about whether or not Cybex is a weighted grade. And there is, it is weighted in the freshman year at the um, honors geography class that Mr. Bammer teaches. The program is integrated into the uh, social studies and English classes in all four years. Uh, the big feature of the program is that by completing all four years, every student will earn two CTE pathways in marketing and entrepreneurship. And CTE stands for Career and Technical Education, which is nationally recognized. Uh, so this is something they can put on their college applications and the like. So, uh, Sonny, that's the question there. I think one of the coolest things about the program too is is the what the kids all of them said and some of the teachers said this too and it's the idea that they um, they it does become a family and with that comes um, constructive criticism from their classmates I mean they they help each other they hold each other to a high standard they know what other kids are able to do and they encourage them and um, inspire them to do their best in their program, in their projects and things like that too. So it, it really is, um, you know, integrated with, uh, we, we're just starting our, our senior mentors for our sophomores and the juniors mentor, the, the, um, the juniors mentor, the freshmen. Um, and so it's just, they, they really develop these bonds and, and, uh, relationships that, um, that they can take with them throughout the course of their, you know, their education here and through this program. But also it establishes that friendship and that, um, that family-like feeling that is, is something that we're really proud of. Yeah, as you saw, Mr. Stefano's daughter, Amy, is in the program. Mrs. Morrow's children have gone through the program. Mr. Boone's son went through the program. Uh, Mr. Whitmore has had uh, his three children go through the program, and my son is also a graduate from the program. So not only do we teach in this program, but we believe in this program so much we've brought our children into this program as well. Uh, so, I mean, it's, I hope that is also a testimony to what we think uh, regarding what this program offers. And it truly does open doors. Students all the time say, as Mrs. Barrow tested with her own children, that there's never an interview they struggle at. You know, every time they interview, they, they get the job, so to speak. Uh, it's, it's really valuable. And our alumni even come back to participate and judge and help students in this program. So they're giving back even after they leave the program. It, it's it's truly. Excellent. Well, it's time for us to let you go so you can um, join your next round. Thank you for joining us. Um, and feel